Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to TransWest Live. You know, if you've been watching these videos for a while, you know we do them in the snow, we do them in the sun, and we do them in the wind. We do them every day. Today is a great day in Colorado. And I want to show you this beautiful 2017 Emerald Prevost bus. So we're, in the, we're inside the coach right now. And it is, uh, of course, it's 45 feet long. It's got two slide outs. Got a big closet in the back. We can, should we walk back to the back and go towards the front a little bit? I'll bring this iPad along so I can show you some things. You might want to go back there. You might want to go back in the back there and show them how big that, how big that walk-in closet is. And there's some drawers in there. You know, this emerald has got a lot, a lot of storage space. Like I said, it's two slide outs, and this is a, uh, a king size bed. And it is motorized, it'll come up and it'll, it'll go in different, different positions. There's a nice big flat screen TV there. Um, and what we did in the configuration of this one is we put, there's a sink, there's a sink here with a, with a medicine cabinet. And then in this Jack and Joe bath, which you'll see in a minute, there's also a sink in there. So it makes it convenient for the, makes it for convenient for, you know, for you in that way. Notice the lighting in here. It's got nice accent lighting. It's solid wood cabinetry. Harman Kardon sound bar for the, with the TV. These are heated floors throughout, two zone heated floors. This bus did have a washer dryer in it. We can put a stacked washer dryer back in it. Well, the previous owner opted to have more storage space, so we, we configured this for him. But like I said, it's pre-plumbed to have a washer dryer. If you want a washer dryer, um, Sheila liked to have the extra storage space. This is one of the entrances to the Jack and Jill bath. I mean, excuse me, to the to the, uh, yeah. And then there's a pocket door that closes off right here. A pocket door that closes off. And then you've got a, another entrance here. And there's a nice big shower on, on this side. Hope you're liking the attention to detail. want to step out this way and then uh, I'll go back in and open up that other door so you can see what it's like see here we go got it yep this is a beautiful door the wood drain in this door that's a solid wood too. Another pocket door right here. This is a, a linen area for towels and such. And then here's a nice big pantry. Adjustable shelving. This would be a sub-zero sub -zero refrigerator, two drawer freezer down below. I mean, this coach, I was showing this coach to some folks when we were out at Motor Coach Country Club in Indio, and they, they didn't believe it was a, a 17, because <laughs> it remind, opening these doors reminded me of that. Look how clean it is. It's got 44, 45,000 miles on it, something like that. Some of your trash. Some nice, nice drawers here. Well, this one doesn't have a dishwasher, but it's pre-plumbed for a dishwasher and fits right in that, 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 that Fisher Pickell dishwasher would fit right in here. But again, the storage is what was, what they liked. A lot of people, you know, half the people like these dishwashers and half the people don't. So it's adjustable that way for you. 
Viking microwave convection. All this cabinetry is solid wood. You can tell how this coach was taken care of. There's a c certificate of authenticity. Got all the records. You got a, a two burner Wolf induction cooktop. And you got a nice Corian sink here. Again, these are all heated floors. This dinette booth is, is very comfortable. It's got storage down below there and below here. So, you know, there's a, you might have heard this saying, you know, it's what my wife likes to say is these coaches seat six for cocktails, four for dinner, but two to sleep. So let's look at this configuration. Could we have six people in here comfortably? Two, four, six, yeah, we could. Could we have four people in here comfortably? Well, yeah, we could. So, you know, we get, a, we get a laugh out of that, but it's, you know, six, four, two, try and remember that. Six, six for adult beverages, four for dinner, two to sleep. Otherwise, see these nice big windows? You can see outside. And notice how quiet it is in here too, besides me talking. There's a lot of traffic going by there. I was sitting here waiting for you to come in, and I'm going, I don't hear those trucks going by. I don't hear those cars going by. That should tell you something about a Prevo and how it's built. And, and you know, you gotta be aware of all your senses when you're looking at a, when you're looking at a, uh, uh, a coach. And a lot of what you buy in anybody's coach, you know, is what you can't see. But when you can't hear that, you know something's done right. Nice and quiet going down the road, no squeaks, no rattles. Five hundred horsepower, plenty of power to get you going. All-wheel air disc brakes, transmission retarder, plenty of power to stop you. Two satellite dishes, and in motion, and in motion for, for here. Um, Sheila liked to watch watch the TV when they were her cooking channel or one of her favorite channels when they were going down the road. But then when you're stopped, you get a nice big TV that comes down over there above there, a, a flat screen. Again, they have, it's got a sound bar with it. It's got three of these, it's got three of these um, iPads in here. And across the top, it's real simple to use. Say I want, I, I'm on blinds here, okay? So say I want to close all my blinds. Now you can do it individually, or you can do it, or you can do it with uh, just a touch of a button on all of them. Now it's not except for the driver and the pass or the, the windshield. You have to do that. You see how that works? That's pretty neat, isn't it? Now if we want to get back to the Colorado sunshine, open all blinds. If I want to control my lights. They're all labeled right here. I can do all lights on, all lights off. I can do them individually. Climate. It's got four roof airs. So you can set you can set them, set what you want here in terms of keeping it nice and warm or nice and cool for you. Again, it's got heated floors. It's got heat pumps in the roof airs. And it also has a Wabasto system to give you humidified coach heat. So we got you covered on all those on all those bases as well. In terms of entertainment, um, you've got Blu-ray, Apple TV, XM Radio, FM, Direct TV is on, on this particular coach right now. And there if I want to put that if I want to put that TV down. It's pretty nice, isn't it?
So this is kind of the inside of the coach. And I know a lot of you folks like to see how the slides, how the slides come, what the coach is like when the slides come in. So I'm going to do that. In order to do that, I need to start the engine and, and, um, and go back to the back and we'll put the rear slide in and then we'll come up here and put the front slide in. So the Prevo dash, here, this, this kind of hooks right on there. It's also your backup camera. This particular coach, here's your heated floor, your wine guard satellite, your in motion satellite. Uh, oh, this is your regular antenna, excuse me. And then your traveler and your, your in motion there. a regular Prevo dash and to start it that's the key that's the key to start a Prevo bus right there this is an air seat this is a very comfortable seat with the foot rest and So we got the coach running now. Let's go back here to the back and we'll see how this slide, how this slide comes in. And then we'll go outside. The control is right in here. So I'm gonna get out of the way for a minute. That's going to start coming in. What's happening right now is, I'm, is the seal is evacuating. And notice how nice and nice and smooth that slide comes in. So you can access everything except the rear closet. Well, if you want to go over the bed. Did you see that neat lighting around the door? I thought that was kind of neat. See how they did that around, around that pocket door there? Kind of a nice touch, I think. It's got a nice ceiling in it. Then the front slide, the front slide control is up here at the driver's station. It's right here. And these are Prevo slides too, by the way. So here's out, I'm gonna hold the, hold the in button down and it's telling me that it's activated and the, and the uh, uh, seal is evacuating. And in comes the slide. So one of the advantages of a two slide coach is is the accessibility. So I'm six foot two, a couple hundred pounds walking through here. I can get at everything. We can stop and have lunch. We, can st we don't have to put the slide out to stay in it. So the seating's there. Like I said, everything's accessible. Part of what makes it feel that really nice too is again, the nice big windows that are in here and, and you don't feel with the windows, it feels nice and open for you. So now that we have the slides in, maybe we should take a look outside and see what we have outside. So I'll meet you outside here in just a second.
like one of our one of our deals came off there. Okay. Of course, with the this is the X3 version of of the Prevo builds two shells. This is the X3, and then they build the H3. The X3 is going to have taller headroom inside, and it's going to have a little. Your storage compartments aren't going to be as tall on the outside. They are going to be wider. So to open the door, what I like about what I like about the X3 is that door locks in the open position on the X3 models. So these are these are manual slide trays. Two of them in this in this coach and it's full pass through. This is another slide tray. It goes three quarters of the way through. And what you get here is nice flat screen TV with the sound bar up here. And then there's also a launch port for your uh, iPad. So you can control everything out here as well. I walked right by this, but this is a this is a slide mechanism that came out of another coach that, that worked. This, this is how it's installed in this one. Now to close these doors, to close these doors, you lift up on that, pull down on this. Did you hear that? Nice and solid. Same way here. Release the lock. Pull down. It's locked. And by the way, there's a, up here at the entry, there's a switch where you can, you can hit this switch right here. Lock, unlock all the drawer, all the outside compartments. Pretty nice. Here's your plumbing bay. It's got two 10 gallon hot water heaters. It's got a 110 water pump. It's got a backup water pump, a 12 volt backup water pump back here. Accumulator tank on the cold side so you get nice, nice pressure. It's got a sediment filter. It's all heated. It's all heated there. And up here. Accessibility. Let's make things accessible. And let's, you know, rather than, you know, hiding this behind, make it easy to work on if you need to get at it. That's kind of our thought. I'm going to grab the keys. I'll be right back to show you that compartment. This is your, your fuel access door. So you can you can do fuel on this side and fuel on the other side and def on the other side too. Outback inverters, one, two, three, four lifeline AGM batteries. You can shut the whole coach down with these breakers right here if you're gonna store it. Shut them all down and it kills everything in the coach. Battery boost up here. In case you don't do that. <laughs> it's 
coach is getting a whole new set of Michelin tires. The 365s are in. We're waiting to get the 315s, but before it goes to before it goes to you, the next owner, it's going to have a whole new set of Michelins on it. Okay. Here's your Robusto boiler. This Robusto boiler it gives you humidified coach heat, gives you your hot water on demand and such. The chassis batteries are down below here. It's got a 20,000 pound hitch on it. This is the Volvo D13 500 horsepower engine. It'll all be freshly serviced, so it's scheduled to go in for all of this here in the next day or two to get all that fresh oil and such put in it. That's what we do at TransWest. When a coach comes in, we make sure all the services are up to date. So when you leave here with it, you know that you got, you know, you know where you're starting when you're on your adventures. Now you can see where the slides are in. It's a nice flush fit. What I like about what, em what, em what Prevo has done, when I'm out running around the country showing these things off, I need to get fuel. I can get fuel right here. I can get def right there. I don't have to move the bus. It's all right there. In this bay, you can open this one up. There's your 20 kW PowerTech EPA compliant generator. See, it's all insulated for, for heat and noise. It's got a uh, fire suppression system in the generator area and also back in the engine. Twenty KW, that's a that's a big generator, ain't it? You could probably fire that up and if you had a buddy plug you could fire up your neighbor's coach too, you know. The coach has a uh, a solar panel on the roof that's dedicated to the generator battery. It's got a dedicated generator battery, which is right here. This one has a soft water system installed in it. So your plumbing bay and your electrical all come out down through here. Your water is on a reel. Your power cord is on a reel. You got a mana block. You got a uh, manifold system here. It's all nicely labeled up underneath for the hot and the cold. It's got a, a electric, electric dump tanks, both in, both outside and inside. And it's on that iPad that I was showing you earlier, also. This bus, this bus features the uh, Crestron system in conjunction with the iPad for working your, the things I was showing you on the, on the iPad earlier. And these are the racks that, that tell it, you know, that, that they talk back and forth to. And if, I don't know if you can tell real close, but everything is, everything is nicely labeled and it's very accessible. Our service department at Emerald is very familiar with this coach. They're very accessible. 
Uh, you'll get an 800 number to talk directly to them. And for that matter, Prevo Action Services, the past, there's an 800 number tw man 24 seven by Prevo for the chassis stuff that's involved with this too. So, you know, wherever you go in North America, you've got, you've got support. This is the other side of your pass-through storage. And these are folding chairs that are tucked in there. This little deal right here, these are electric slides on these buses. So should something happen, I'm not saying it will, but should something happen, it's a, I think it's a 10 or 11 millimeter socket right here. And underneath this, there's a, they'll, they'll walk you through a couple of things you gotta do. And your drill motor will bring that slide in. That's pretty neat. So are you getting an idea of what, what a Prevo is? You know, the whole superstructure of the coach is stainless steel. The bones of it, if you will, are stainless steel. The bottom part of this is all stainless. The ribbing is kind of the classical look. Um, that's what you get with the X3. The uh, H is going to be a full body paint and it's going to be a little taller. This particular shell is the one that's preferred by the entertainers. Why is that? Because it's got an 18 inch longer wheelbase. Those guys put literally hundreds of thousands of miles on and that wheelbase is going to give you much a, a nice really nice smooth comfortable ride so that should tell you something there too behind here is all the relays for the operation of the of the driving part of your you know the uh, of the bus the lights and so forth and so say your say your blinkers weren't working or we direct you to here and and this, this comes off real easy and you'll see a series of relays that are all really nicely labeled there. So as an owner, you just need to know where things are and know that you got support. And that's what we endeavor to do, both at TransWest and at, and at Emerald and at Prevo to make sure that we can keep you on the road. A lot of neat places to go in, in, in North America. And the Prevo is a good the Prevo is a good way to go, and an Emerald is a very comfortable way to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's anything I can do to help you out, uh, my name is Brad. I'm the Prevo rep here, and I think you know how to get all the TransWest. They know my number. Give me a call. I'll bring the coach to you. We'll fly you out here. Whatever it takes. We want your business. I've always wanted a Prevo. This is a nice example of a, of a uh, quality pre-owned coach. Thanks again for your time. Hope to see you down the road. Take care.